guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela, the Aspiring Boss. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna say Happy New Year to everyone. Yep, we're in 2020. Um, I'm very excited about the year 2020. I have a lot of goals and a lot of plans for myself this year, and I just think it's gonna be such a great year for myself. And I hope that you all are as positive as I am and that it's a great year for you too. So today's video is gonna be all about how to host or throw a vision board party. So I'm sure, pretty sure most of you guys know what a vision board is, but basically it's a collage that depicts your vision or your goals for your life. A vision board can be something very specific. It could be about a specific job or journey or whatever, or it can be about the whole entire year or the quarter or the next five years or the next 10 years of your life. Um, specifically the vision board party that I threw was all about planning your goals and your vision for the year 2020. Um, and usually when I do a vision board, it is for the entire year. And so that's kind of how I, I do my vision boards. But like I said, it can be as specific or as general as you want it. All right, so basically I'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how to throw a vision board party, how to plan, what it consists of, and then I'm gonna show some footage of me prepping for the vision board party and the actual footage of the vision board party. So let's get started. All right, so some of you guys might ask like, well, what's the whole point of hosting a vision board party? Like, why should I host a vision board party? For me, I'm a firm believer in self-fulfilling prophecies and manifesting. So for me, the practice of doing vision boards is is right on par with me. If I, if I say it, if I believe it, if I put it out there in the world, it's going to happen for me. And Secondly, it's a great way to get friends together, right? I don't know about you guys, but I love having people over. I love having a good time with fun people and great energies. And a vision board party is a super cool way to either end the year or start the year off. Um, we're right into the beginning of January 2020 and it's not too late. It's actually the perfect time to do a vision board. And what better way to do that than hosting one with friends and good food and drink. So yeah, I'm going to go into the the basics of actually how to plan a vision board party. So the most important thing, in my opinion, for a vision board party is the invite list for several reasons. One reason is you need to think about how many people you can fit in the venue that you're hosting the vision board party. So for me, I hosted it at my house and I live in a townhouse and so there's two levels, but I knew that we would remain on the first level in the living room area and the kitchen area. I have a pretty open floor plan. So I thought that I could probably fit eight ladies, including myself comfortably. Um, I ended up having about five ladies, including myself at the party. Um, you know how people RSVP and say they're coming and they don't show up, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, so it was about five of us, but I knew I can host eight ladies comfortably. So I invited seven ladies. And so it's important for you to know how many people you can fit because that will dictate what your invite list is. Secondly, the type of people that you wanna invite to your vision board party. You wanna have people who are fun, energetic, positive, and just overall a good time. The worst thing that you can do is invite people who are Debbie Downers or negative because they will just bring down the mood and a lot of people might feel, not feel comfortable sharing their visions and their goals and their hopes and dreams and desires around people who are just gonna shoot down everything that they say. I don't know about y'all, but I've been seeing people on social media talking about people who are kind of on the new year, new me, or you know, setting goals for the new year and you know, just very Debbie Downer about the whole thing and just very cynical about people who make goals every year. And I don't know about y'all, but I am a firm believer in making goals. It's, 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 or a firm believer in setting goals for myself. And the new year, in my opinion, is a perfect time to set new goals. So yeah. So the next important thing for planning your vision board party is buying the supplies. So obviously you'll need some sort of poster board um, to create your vision board. Um, and for me, since I was hosting the party, I was happy to buy um, the vision boards or the poster boards for everyone, but you can always ask everyone to bring one and so you don't have to cover that cost. They're super cheap. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. Matter of fact, I got most things that I bought for the party from the Dollar Tree and that just really helped stick to my budget. As you guys know, I'm all about budgeting and although I wanna have a good time and host people over my house, I don't wanna go into debt for it. I don't wanna spend a lot of money for it. And so Dollar Tree was a great way to host something at the house and not break the bank. 
so I highly suggest so yes you'll need a poster board and like I said you can choose to buy it for everyone or ask everyone to bring one you'll need scissors and you'll need enough scissors really for everyone in the party the whole process of making a vision board is usually doing a lot of cutting and so you want to have a pair of scissors really for everyone that's going to be at the party um next are glue sticks and you don't you probably don't need a glue stick for every person but if you can afford it like i said i got mine at the dollar tree then it just go ahead and buy enough for everyone but you'll need glue sticks because once you're done cutting the images and the words you'll glue um the cutouts onto the poster board also most importantly you will need magazines and you'll need a ton and you'll need a variety so my suggestion would be to provide magazines yourself but also ask every guest to bring magazines as well and that way you'll ensure that you have enough magazines and different types of magazines you'll want fashion you'll want food you'll want home and garden you'll want fitness you want all different type of magazines so you can have a variety of images and words for your poster boards all right also you can do extras like cutouts and stickers and things like that i went ahead and picked those up but it's totally optional again they were at the dollar tree so very cheap but just extras to add a little razzle dazzle to the vision boards. Most importantly though, you're gonna need some food and some good drink, okay? So everybody knows that you cannot have a party, you cannot have a get together without having some sort of appetizer, snack, or meal. Um, so you will need to have some food and some good drink. Um, and if it's a group of women, obviously you can't go wrong with wine. So that's kind of what I did for mine. I made Rotel dip as the kind of main filling meal and then I got guacamole and salsa is kind of you know chips and salsa just so people can just snack if they weren't super hungry and then um i had cookies for dessert and then candy and little pretzels and things like that just for everybody to nibble on and then i had water soda and wine for drinks so everyone was good on the food front all right so once you buy all the supplies for the vision board party I think it's best for you to kind of have an agenda of how you want the party to go. Um, and so for me, the first thing on the agenda was a welcome and an icebreaker. So I was having people come to the party that didn't know each other. And as I said before, at a vision board party, you want to talk about your goals. You want to depict pictures that depict your goals and your vision. And not everybody is comfortable talking about things like that. So you want to get everyone comfortable with each other. You want it to be inviting. You want everyone to feel kind of at home and okay talking about some of their big dreams and goals so um welcoming them into your house and just making them feel comfortable as well as having an icebreaker so all the ladies get to know each other or all of the the attendees i should say mine was all ladies and so that's why i keep uh, referring to women um and but an icebreaker will just help everyone get comfortable with each other and will probably like keep people um from being tense and just ready to relax and have a good time and do some vision boards so um i highly suggest a welcome and icebreaker next is the food although people will probably be eating and drinking throughout the whole vision board party you kind of want to start with food so people get food in their bellies and you know just it, food has a great way of making pe people come together, feel comfortable, and relax. So you want to do the food next. And then you want to dive right into the vision board making. So what we did at my house is we all spread out in the living room, as you'll see in the footage that I'm going to show. But we spread out the magazines and the supplies in the living room, put on some good music. By the way, a good playlist is very important to a successful vision board party. As you guys may or may not know, I'm a Beyonce stan, so I had to put on my girl B. Um, and then I also put on like an end of the year uh, 2019 top hits. Um, so it had a variety of music and everyone's bound to at least know some of the songs and like some of the songs. And so music is key. But yes, yeah, so we spread out in the living room with our supplies and got to cutting and chatting and eating and drinking and it was great. Um, after you guys get done with the vision boards, the most important thing you got to do is take a group photo with your vision boards, which I'll insert ours here. So yes, you got to take a group photo um, just to commemorate the fun times you guys had and you guys can talk and chat and, and go around and talk about your vision boards. Um, one thing that I thought was really cool at my party, uh, there were a lot of people who saw really cool cutouts and would offer them up to people if they knew they were cool but didn't really need them. For example, um, if someone was 
to ha see a picture of the Eiffel Tower and maybe another person in the room plans to go to Paris um, for the upcoming year, um, they would be like, does anybody need an Eiffel Tower? Or does anybody need the word diva or women empowerment or something like that? And it was so many times where I didn't see those things or I hadn't seen that magazine. And I was like, yeah, I need that. So just having a fun, open, cool vibe is just key to having a successful vision board party. So yeah. So after the group photo, um, I, we, you know, kind of said our goodbyes and I did gift bags for all of the ladies. That's totally optional if it's in your budget. Um, uh, I think it's a great way to just kind of send the girls off with, um, you know, a nice gift and you don't have to do anything crazy. All of my gifts were either bought at the dollar kind of dollar three dollar section at target or at the dollar tree so my gift bags i did wine or champagne glasses um a bath bomb and then i did a notepad with a pen basically where people can write down ideas visions goals or anything for 2020 at you know at that moment that was kind of the the reasoning behind the notepads and i think they really appreciated it and also i did some printables um for goal setting um, side note, I kind of plan my year in the quarter. I, I run my life like I run my business. And so I plan by quarter. So I did, I created some printouts, which I'm happy to send to anyone. And I can drop a link down below to the printout so you can print them out and start planning your goals for 2020, but also included those in the gift bags as well. So yes, that was pretty much it, how I planned and have my vision board party. Um, just a couple tips for making a vision board. Um, one, you want to sit down either before the party or before you start cutting and really just think about the specific goals you have and what you want to put on your vision board. Um, once you know what you want to achieve in 2020, you'll know what pictures and words to look for and cut out of the magazines. And it'll be really helpful to really having a good vision board um, and one that really depicts what you see your year being. Um, so that's important. And another thing, another tip for the vision boards is I would cut out everything first and then kind of spot plan it um, before you do any gluing. Do not glue as you cut because you'll see things and you want to just make sure you have everything you need for your vision board so it can look pretty and well put together and coordinated before you start gluing. So I would do that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it and how to throw a successful vision board party. It's super low maintenance, it's super fun, and I suggest that you all do it. Right now is the perfect time. Hey, but if you don't want to, I would at least do the vision board. Um, and as you guys saw in my thumbnail, um, I did do my own vision board. I'm not gonna waste too much time talking about it, um, but here is my vision board. And if you guys are really interested though in what I put on my vision board or what my goals are for 2020, um, I'm happy to do a separate video about that. Just let me know in the comments below. You guys will, I'm sure, get a glimpse into what my goals are as I make more videos because I will be making videos about some of the things that I'm trying to achieve and obtain in 2020. Um, and I, like I said, I'm a believer in manifesting, so it's something I will probably repeatedly talk about. But if you guys want a video kind of just focused on that, I am so happy to do one. Just let me know. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys the footage of me actually prepping and planning for the vision board party and then footage of the actual vision board party. So here goes.
okay so today is the day of the vision port party actually it's like about to start in just a few minutes and so i am just um fit putting like everything out and drinks and food and whatever just so everybody can start eating when they get here i'm just gonna give you guys a little look at you know like what i set up it's nothing crazy you know didn't want to spend a bunch of money just wanted people to come together and you know plan their goals or whatever and so gonna give you guys a little peek of you know how i set my living room up obviously to make space and food and whatever so here we go basically everything's gonna be happening in my living room um so usually my couch is like right here and so i pushed it back to right there and then my coffee table is usually like right there right in front of it and i pushed it up um people can just just for like more space and put the boards on so yes there is the coffee table i just put some extra poster boards just in case somebody forgot and then i did these templates and these i can um and these i can send to anybody so if you want but it's just like 22 20 goals quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four that's just kind of how i plan for my year by quarter um kind of like i run my life like a business i guess and then um just more specific and i'll talk about this um at another time but yeah um, and then, yeah, there's some couches, just more seating. And then I took my chairs and put them like along the line just for more seating. And then I have a bar cart that I usually keep in the corner over there. Um, and so it's just right here. Um, since we're, since there is going to be wine and stuff. So I thought that'd be cool since I have Christmas lights. And then here is the setup. <laughs> Um, more people are bringing, um, magazines, but I put some magazines out already, um, glue sticks, markers, scissors, just extra decor, tape, um, here's a little, you know, like snack and candy tray, cookies, there's the Rotel dip, I need to stir it, um, there are the chips, and then the plates, and then cups, and then spoons and forks. And then, as you guys know, I did gift bags, so I just put them there for now. And then we come over to here, and I put out the wine, and I really just got Moscato and Pinot Grigio. I'm not a huge wine drinker, and I really don't like Moscato when I do drink it, unless I'm like at a fancy work event or whatever. So I just kind of got what I like and what was cheap. And then a couple of the girls said that they like sweet, so Moscato is sweet. And then I got Pinot for any of like more real wine drinkers. And then I just set out the wine glasses for everybody and then some water and then some soda back there in case anybody um doesn't want water or um water or wine so yeah so just that's that's it guys <laughs> guys so there you have it you got my tips on how to throw a vision board party you saw the vision board party in action you saw our group photo um that's pretty much it guys so if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to leave them in the, in the comments below i will be sure to answer them like i said if you guys want a separate video on my vision board and my goals for 2020 i'm happy to do it just let me know in the comments below um i'll be back with another video next sunday ask you guys to please like my videos and subscribe i'm really trying to um, be consistent with youtube and one of my goals is to grow my channel um get more viewers and subscribers and just make really great content for you guys and really try to um help you guys maneuver through this thing called life as i do the same um so i'd really appreciate any support that you show me um until next time bye bye <laughs>